Member for North Sydney has the call. I'll give you another chance. My question is to the Treasurer. Do you want the question I remind the Treasurer that in last year's budget speech he said, and I quote, the four years of surpluses I announced tonight are a powerful endorsement of the success of our policies. Given that the government posted a deficit of $19.4 billion this year and is projected to deliver $29 billion of further deficits, isn't that a powerful confirmation of the failure of the government's policies? The Treasurer has the call. No. No. What this government stands for is jobs and growth. And in our time in office, there has been over one million jobs created. One million jobs and 500,000 jobs created in the last three years. Now, we have put in place a range of policies to ensure that that continues. It would have been deeply irresponsible in the circumstances of this year's budget to come back to surplus quicker. Deeply irresponsible, because the effects of that would have been would have been up on Australians and small businesses right around our country. So it's very clear now what the contrast is in this House between the policies of the government and the opposition. We stand for jobs and growth. The logic of their position is very clear. They stand for savage cuts to public expenditure to come back to surplus at any price and at any cost. That is the very clear contrast. So we get this fiscal fear-mongering from those opposite. They go around and talk our economy down, exaggerate the levels of debt. And what is that all about? It's all about the fact that they don't want to tell the Australian people what they would do if they were in power, which is a Newman-style austerity program which will slash jobs in the Australian community and make massive cuts to health and education. We on this side of the House are proud of the fact that our number one priority, it's in our DNA, is to support jobs and growth. And it is the responsible thing to do in the circumstances in which we find ourselves as a nation. Global uncertainty demands that what we do is support growth with a responsible level of debt and deficit. That is an important thing to do. And the contrast was there during the global financial crisis when those opposite refused to support our stimulus. And indeed, the Leader of the Opposition slept right through the critical vote. He was drunk and didn't come into the House. Oh, the, the slept right Treasurer through that will vote. withdraw. The Manager of Opposition Business will resume his seat. The Member for Bendigo is not assisting. The Treasurer will withdraw. I withdraw. Madam Speaker. The Manager of Opposition Business, the Manager of Opposition Business has the call and does not have the right to direct me as others on the bench are about to suggest. The Manager of Opposition Business. Well, Madam Speaker, in, with great respect to you, I put it to you that the Treasurer has vastly gone past what is considered reasonable in this place, and I would ask you to be absolutely certain for the rest of question time that he doesn't repeat that extraordinary The manager of opposition business will resume his seat. I was trying very quickly to draw the treasurer's attention to what I thought was a very outrageous comment. I was actually trying to do it at the time. I take it very seriously. And I will be watching carefully. The Treasurer has 